Secretary of State Blinken's trip comes in an important time. This is the fourth visit, but we uh, he comes at a time now where the, uh, the Ukrainian counteroffensive um, it's a, it's turned into a grind. It's been struggling, but it is continuing to make some progress. This first and foremost is to buttress the Ukrainians. Um, we're with you. We and our allies. I never talk about the United States in singular and our allies and partners. Many issues going on. The counteroffensive uh, was discussed. The corruption issue was discussed. And a key point on the corruption issue is deep digging deep into it. And when I was there with, a, with an NGO group, we visited the newly stood up anti-corruption agency in Kiev. The, the Ukrainians are serious about it. With all the Russian ravishment of the Ukrainian infrastructure and people, um, all right, we are going to um, we're going to work away with our allies to use purloined uh, funds, if you will, by the oligarchs supporting that have been sanctioned supporting Russia, and um, and and grant them to the Ukrainians for their veterans. The president was there. Multiple European prime ministers and presidents have been there that Ukraine has very much now become a mainstream nation um, in whatever we call our greater Western community, more so than before. And they can thank in part Putin. And the Russians don't like this, that when, they, when, when our statesmen and other statesmen, statesmen go in to buttress and affirm uh, Ukraine's sovereignty, and the only tool they have is to respond with violence. 